Bloom Tool Company. Today I'd like to show you the Bloom Plane and discuss its various features and uh, give a little demonstration of its use. Right here are the four sizes that we make. A smooth plane, which is about nine and a half inches long. A, a jack plane. This one is in cherry and, and quarter sawn maple. This, of course, is in walnut and quarter sawn maple. A four plane. This plane is out of mesquite. And a joiner plane, which is 22 inches long. Uh, this one is uh, walnut and quarter sawn maple. Showing you some of the different uh, features of the plane. It's a little bit different than any other uh, design on the market. At the top we have a couple of depth adjusting thumb screws that obviously adjust the depth but at the same time you're doing that will also um, take care of your lateral adjustment for you so there's no separate lateral adjustment required. At the back we have a star lock knob that locks the frog in position. Uh, these here two little screws are uh, able to be adjusted to open and close the mouth. On the bottom side you can see the, the backup iron that holds the very thin iron in the plane. I'll show you what this frog looks like. These are the two threaded uh, studs that come up and get adjusted with the depth adjusting screws. Uh, these are able to pivot both ways for the frog adjustment. At the bottom here we have the backup iron with the three screws. I'll show you uh, what the iron looks like. Loosen those and the iron pulls, pulls right out. It's slotted. This iron is ground at a 35 degree angle. Um, if you want to see how we sharpen this, uh, take a look at the video on the fixed angle jig and I go through the sharpening process for this iron. So this is the guts of the plane. This frog is, is very heavy. Um, it's about three quarters of an inch across the front here, so it's, it's a very massive frog and that gives uh, excellent support to that thin iron. I'll show you the mouth adjustment here. We've got these two screws and when you loosen the star lock knob, you can then back those off uh, to widen the mouth if you want to close it up some, you can just tighten those screws up and there we have a very tight uh, mouth. The tighter the mouth is, uh, the less it's going to tear out if you're planing some difficult wood. If you look at the sole of the plane, we, we inlet a Purple Heart mouth patch here, which is a very fine, um, very hard wood. This plane happens to be out of mesquite wood, which is a very stable, hard-wearing wood. So the sole of this plane um, will not wear hardly at all. And I'll show you uh, how to adjust it, and we'll take some shavings. The first thing you would do to adjust the depth would be to loosen the star lock knob a little bit. I hold it like so. And by adjusting the depth adjusting screws, you can fine-tune the plane uh, to a pretty good degree of precision. Doesn't take, doesn't take much. Then relock, relock the knob. So let's take a few shavings. seated really solidly with this system so even though it uses a thin blade uh, there is no chatter or anything um, just because of the, the solidness of how the blade is seated there. It's also totally hand adjustable. You don't need any tools even to adjust the mouth opening. If we wanted to adjust that to a finer cut, uh, we can do it without even picking up a screwdriver.
Notice that the handle also affords you a, a full four finger grip. Um, I have kind of large hands and to me it's, it's comfortable to be able to wrap your hand around the handle without worrying about a plain iron uh, sticking up.